Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a June book haul and it's kind of more like some of May, some of June, and some of July book haul, but since July's not over I can't exactly call it a July book haul, but I've been waiting for a certain book to come in the mail and I'm kind of on a book buying ban currently, so I figured this would be the perfect time to do a book haul. So fair warning, I do have quite a few books in this book haul. I think it's probably the biggest one I've done this year. So it's going to take a while, you know, get a snack, get yourself all comfortable, and let's get right on into all the books that I've bought. The first one that I have is Final Draft by Riley Redgate, and this is the book I'm supposed to be reading this month. I decided to go with the Cruel Prince by Holly Black first, but I'm definitely getting to this book at some point this month. I'm not going to put it off. I really want to stick with my TBR for this month, and I'm super, super excited. It's very short, and from what I know about this book, it's about a girl, and she is a really great writer. Her creative writing teacher absolutely loves her work, but then a new creative writing teacher comes in, and she's like this really big wig author, and she doesn't like this girl's work half as much as her other teacher did. So I'm really excited to read this. I took a creative writing class a few semesters ago and I absolutely loved it. I had such a good time. And I'm really excited to see, you know, what this one is all about and how writing and creative writing classes kind of come in to this book. And I'm super excited. I'm pretty sure that the main character is pansexual. I feel like I might be wrong. Bisexual or pansexual. It's one of those two and I can't remember what it is right now. But I know it's one of those two. I know it's a queer book so I'm really excited to get into this and I've just heard so many good things. The next two books are part of a series that I've really enjoyed this year and that is The Last of August by Brittany Cavallaro and also The Case for Jamie by Brittany Cavallaro and I'm really I love these books so much. Like, I can't even talk about these books without just, like, fangirling so hard. And every time I mention these books, I have to mention Rocky, Blonde with the Book. I absolutely love her. She recommends these books all the time. She's, like, super obsessed with these books. And, wow, like, they're just amazing. And you should listen to Rocky. And she would not steer you wrong. I absolutely love these books. The covers are gorgeous. It's hard to talk about these two because they are the second and third books in a series. But if you haven't read it, go read A Study in Charlotte. It's amazing. It's sort of like a spin on Sherlock Holmes. And it's absolutely wonderful. I would die for these characters, like, in a heartbeat. <laughs> the next book in this haul is Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. And I'm really excited to get to this book at some point. I know that it follows a plus-size Latinx character. And I'm really excited to get into this. Because I don't really have very much plus-size or Latinx representation and it's kind of nice to have both of those in one book. Um, basically what I know about this book is that a girl's friend is found dead and everyone thinks it's suicide and they think that this girl was in a suicide pact but she wasn't or at least the main character knows that that's not what her friend would do and I think it's kind of like a Heather's kind of book. It actually sounds a lot like Heather's and I'm really excited to read this. Also, I'm pretty sure that the main character is Wiccan and it has a lot to do with witchcraft and magic and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited to read this. The next book is one that I've been wanting for quite a while and that is Like Water by Rebecca Podos. I don't really know a lot about this book, but I'm really excited to read it. I'm pretty sure that it's queer in some sort of way. I can't really remember. This is the problem with me not actually like knowing what books are about before I read them. I literally just kind of had like a slight idea of this is a contemporary and I think it's queer and I'm pretty sure there's Latinx representation and then I just read it. So yeah, but I'm really excited to get to this one and I'm so happy that I finally have it. And yeah, I've heard a lot of really good things about this book from people that I definitely trust. So I hope that I'll get into this like soon at some point. The next book in this haul is one that I've actually read and that is Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Alpertalli. I decided to buy the movie cover edition and I've kind of wrecked this one a little bit. This The front cover is like just completely like bent in like three places and I haven't really taken very good care of this copy but I absolutely loved it so much. I read it just so fast and I I probably could have read this in a day if I had had the time to read it. But with all the things that go on in my life, I'm actually surprised at how fast I read this. 
and I just absolutely freaking loved it. I did watch Love, Simon before reading this book and it didn't really affect my reading experience at all. I loved it. I love the book. I love the movie for different reasons and I just, oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> I kind of feel like I don't really have to say what this book's about, but it is about a gay teenager who's in the closet and he starts talking to this other closeted teenager at his school over email and it kind of formed this really nice bond, friendship, relationship sort of thing. And Simon is the one that's trying to figure out who Blue is, who is his pen pal, and also he's being blackmailed by one of his classmates and it's just, it's amazing. It's just one of my new all-time favorite books. I am so glad that I've loved the two Becky Albert Halley books that I've read because her writing is just so amazing. She could literally write just like trash and I would be like, yes, please, Becky Albert Halley, I love you. So I love this book. I love the movie. The movie is fantastic. Everyone that I've watched the movie with has been like, oh my god, it's amazing. And I just... I love it. There's not so much to say about this one except for I freaking love Becky Albertalli. She's amazing. <laughs> the next book in this haul is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy and this is a book that I have kind of been on the fence about picking up. I have heard very mixed reviews about this book so I haven't really known whether it'd be a book for me. But recently one of my friends over at Gladiator Glory she really liked this book and she had really great things to say about it and I totally trust her opinion and I'm just really excited to get into another book that has some fat representation because I don't have so many books with that and I'm just really excited and this cover is really gorgeous like I didn't think I was gonna like the cover in person but I actually really do and I'm just really excited and also this is being turned into a movie which is super cool and I'm really excited for that to come out and yeah I'm pretty sure this is about pageants. The next book in this haul is one I've also been on the fence about but I am super super excited to get into and that is Autobiography by Christina Lauren and <laughs> so this is about a boy who has moved from California to Utah and he is kind of in this school that is very heavily Mormon and he, I'm pretty sure he's openly gay, I'm pretty sure. See, another book that I just don't really know too much about, but also Kirsten White blurb this book, I just noticed that, I'm like, wait, that's that's Kirsten White, she wrote Anna Darkin, that's one of my favorite books of all time. So, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love this book. If she liked it, I'm probably gonna like it too. And I'm just really excited, this cover is freaking gorgeous, and I love the feel of it. It's one of those, like, really matte covers that, like, Ooh, it feels really nice and I'm just super excited. I need more books that are queer and I'm just like that's what I've tried like I've really tried to buy more queer contemporaries because that seems to be what I really like. So I'm, I've heard really good things about this book. I'm super excited and yeah hopefully I will finish this book sometime during the summer. The next book I got because it has a super super high rating on Goodreads and I was like whoa over four stars on a contemporary that is actually amazing and that is the start of me and you by emery lord i always get that mixed up i always want to say the start of you and me but it's the start of me and you and i'm pretty sure this is about a girl and her boyfriend has just drowned and she's trying to get over that that's about as much as i know of this book and i really like the cover i just kind of like picked it randomly while i was at a bookstore and it just ended up being really intriguing to me. I'm usually not like a super big fan of heavy contemporaries, but this seems light enough that I will be able to read it and enjoy it. So yeah, and I've just been wanting to read more contemporaries lately because I've been in a real big contemporary mood and this seems pretty perfect for me. The next book I have is Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch and this is a book I'm super excited about as well. It seems kind of heavy but it also seems light enough that I'm going to like it. As I said, I really only like light and fluffy contemporaries so if it has a heavy element it has to still be super fluffy and light and this one seems perfect. I absolutely love the cover. It's also one of those matte covers that I really like. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is about a girl who goes to Italy after her mom dies, I think. I can't remember. Don't hold me to any of these summaries or explanations of these books because I might be wrong. But I'm really excited and I've been wanting to read some more books that are set outside of America. And this one seemed really interesting and light and fluffy and right up my alley. 
The next book I have is one that is definitely not up my alley, and that is Girl Made of Stars by Ashley Herring Blake. And I actually read her other book, How to Make a Wish, and I absolutely loved it. And this one is about a girl whose best friend accuses her twin brother of raping her. And I'm just, it just intrigued me from that little summary. I'm like, okay, I have to read this, especially since it's by Ashton Herring Blake. And I loved How to Make a Wish so much. And I'm just really excited to get into this book. The one thing I don't like about this book is the cover. I just, I cannot stand the cover. I like the girl, that's cute, but I just, I, I feel like this looks so much like a middle grade and it just throws me off every time I see it. I'm like, wait, is that a middle grade? It's not. It looks like one though, but I'm really excited to get into this because it is heavier of a topic and as you know, I don't really go into heavier topic contemporaries and this seems pretty heavy, so I'm really excited to get into it and yeah, I've heard some really, really good things. The second to last book that I have in this haul is Found in Night by Ben Alderson and I am so freaking excited to read this book. I read Cloaked in Shadow a few months ago, right? A few months ago? Yeah, at the start of this year and I absolutely freaking loved it so much. It was amazing and I'm really excited to get into this one as well. I've kind of been on a fantasy kick lately so that's really good and this one's also bigger than the last book and I'm just like so excited about that. And I'm really excited to get back into this whole fantasy world of elves and I just I absolutely love it so so much. And I want to know how many times I said excited in that little spiel because I have to say that it was probably like five times. But I'm just I'm so ready for this book so ready. And the very last book in this haul is definitely the grand finale the best for last and that is Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. I just can't believe that this book is actually out. People are reading it. I I just can't even right now. I read this book. It was freaking phenomenal. I like could scream about this book for hours. Um, I just hit myself in the face with it and it's gorgeous. It's here. It's real. It's in my hands, in my arms. I'm hugging it. It's amazing. And if you don't know, this is the last book in the And I Darken series, the Conquerors saga, and I just love these books so much. If you're reading this currently, if you're starting with And I Darken, listen to Reputation by Taylor Swift. Listen to Reputation by Taylor Swift, because that album is literally the soundtrack for the series. Like, oh my gosh freaking it's phenomenal it's it's amazing it's breathtaking it's legendary it's iconic and yeah everyone should be reading this series it is so 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 good all right so those were all the books in this haul and i hope you guys were able to sit through that entire haul without clicking out or getting bored and if you guys have picked up any books recently that you want me to check out then let me know and i will see you guys in my next video bye